Hello, everybody. August 2019 Apaka Box. This box has no theme this month. It is random. It's random. It's random stuff. And I've already opened it and looked through it, so I have an idea of what's inside already. This is also a yellow box. It's the first time I've ever received a box that's yellow, which is interesting, but it sure, sure stands out. So the first thing we see is an advert, SOS, uh, Creek Stewart's television show on the Weather Channel. If you've not seen it, I would encourage you to watch it. It is pretty good. And uh, I always find out some new information when I watch that show. The next thing is a bushcraft gathering. Oot Wyan? Oot Wyan? Oot Wyan? I don't know. Got some skills, want some? Central Pennsylvania's original bushcraft gathering. And then we get the handy dandy guide. Interesting, this time this is a Xeroxed guide. Um, I believe in, usually we get something that's like glossy and different. Um, I don't mind just having a paper copy guide. I think it's probably ultimately better for the environment and easier for me to burn or recycle, so I like it. This box has got a lot of good stuff in it. I'm really, 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 really happy with this box. It's, I think, the favorite, my favorite box I've gotten so far. So the first thing is a life straw. We all know what these are. I've been wanting to buy one for a long time, um, so I'm really happy that it's arrived in this box. It is so light. It's a lot lighter than I imagined that it would be. So it's a um, very cool thing. And as we can see, there's a bee in here. It's enjoying the box as well. The second thing is a, the orange screw. So this is something you can use for a tent screw. Oh, here. Um, tarp tie downs, tent stakes, landscaping for a dog camping. I actually have a bunch of, you know, the big metal um, screws that you tie a dog out with, but we use that for tents and uh, other things in high wind situations, you know, as hold down. So it's always nice to have an extra. Um, it's a plastic one, but it looks pretty heavy duty. Made in the USA by a family company, orangescrew.com. So anyway, pretty cool. It's always good to have stuff like this. Now we have a lighter holder. I, I, I looked this up um, before I got on this video because I wanted to, to um, look at a couple things. First of all, this is made for a mini Bic. Um, it says a full-size Bic won't fit in here, but I have happen to have a lighter made from another company. Actually, these are made in France, which is not something I see a lot from for this company. It's kind of in between a full-size lighter and um, like a mini Bic and a full Bic, and it does fit in here. This fits right on in there. So the mini Bic slides in easily as well. A full Bic is a little too wide and won't fit in there, but it's, you know, made to clip on to your belt or your EDC carry or something, so you always have your lighter handy, uh, which I think is extremely cool. I like it a lot. So um, maybe a full-size Bic won't fit. Hopefully they'll come out with one that does hold a full-size lighter because I think all of us, if we're going to be carrying this around, we might as well carry something with the most amount of fuel in it. But this this does fit, so maybe get them. And there's still a little wiggle room in there. Get the measurements and try a lighter or two. And, of course, it also has a ubiquitous bottle opener, so this folds back and you can open up your beer bottle or whatever, although almost all bottles are twist off anymore. Uh, a little heavier than it first appears to be, which is nice. I think this is going to hold up for a long period of time. So I'm happy to own the Screw Pop Lighter Holder Mini. This is the first time in the history that I've been with a pocket box, and it's been several years that I've received anything firearm related. So we have HLP Premium Synthetic Firearm Oil. It's a 5 milliliter bottle of synthetic um, gun oil. So it'll be interesting to try. I'll look it up first and see what the reviews are. I'm sure you'll do the same thing. We should all do that before putting anything on our weapons should we have firearms. And you can use that on knives as well. Very cool. Lights all USB rechargeable lantern. 
or flashlight. So it charges with this little USB holder. You can hang it um, just like a little lantern. Hang it, grab it. You can see your fuses go out. You or fuses your your breaker panel flips. You can go in with your light. The fuses thing dated me, didn't it? Uh, runs up to 15 hours. Recharge with USB port. And the thing is, is that this came in the um, high beam was on and I don't know if you can see that but it's lit so it's been on the whole time that it took to ship to me here which was uh, I think 96 hours ago so it's been on high this whole time um, so I just turn it to off and it goes off and then let's see low yep then low is on as well that's very cool so we'll have to all take a look at this um, Let's see if we like it. I wonder how, let's see. Okay, the cord is 13 inches long. Uh, I have a couple outdoor solar panels um, I'm, I'm going to try this with as well. So this is very happy for that. That's very cool. And let's see. We have another gardening tool. This I'll read to you um, because I'm not too familiar with it. This is a harvest sickle. Unique design, rugged, all-metal construction. Designed to uh, save wear and tear on your primary tools. It's the perfect hand sickle for harvesting edibles, shelter making, um, getting shelter materials, grass thatching, or cutting down cattails. It's a brush, brush uh, scythe for clearing weeds, briars, brambles, roots, blah, 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 blah. So it's got a little edge on this side little edge on the inside. This definitely needs to be sharpened. It's not sharp enough to use at this point. Um, but I could see how that would be a good little tool to use. Uh, we're getting a lot of gardening tools in the last several boxes. I don't mind that at all because I'm a big gardener, but something like this is pretty reminiscent of like the strawberry hoe, and we've had other tools that are similar to this, so I'm not sure if we need any more sickle scythe cutting tools creek so but you know I'm happy to have it I'll throw it into like a secondary container I have after I sharpen that up and then finally let's see this is a felling tomahawk French Voyager felling tomahawk head this tomahawk head is reminiscent of the ones used by the French Voyagers of the 18th century sorry I'm trying to pull this off whilst I read Actually, hold on, let me just get this off. So I finally struggled getting off that red tape. So here we are with it. Now, this is sharp. This is much sharper than that other tool is. All right, so what do we say here? The extended blade makes the perfect tool for processing wood and fire kindling around camp. It's also great for butchering and food prep and many other tools that require a sharp blade. See the size of it in my hand. It weighs a good uh, pound. Um, again, something we need to make a handle for, but that's no biggie. It feels good. It's uh, it's a nice tool, I think. Um, any chore that requires a sharp blade, it comes without a handle, so you can source, build, and personalize your own. Traditional tomahawks, whether used by mountain man trappers or indigenous peoples, were notorious for being highly decorated and personalized. Oh, this is the skills project. Uh, so the tomahawk is hand forged by Reptile Tool Works in Kentucky, USA, crafted from A36 carbon steel and is meant to be a reliable working tool in the field. All right, so this is our um, skill challenge, and we look at the back. Um, so your skills challenge is to source and personalize the handle. Decorate personalized. Um, September 15th, I'll choose one subscriber's tomahawk as the winner based on the look and the story of the design. So you post the photos on Instagram using hashtag apocahawk or email photos at his um, customer service address at myapocahawks.com. The winner will receive a customized leather tomahawk sheath. And there's a skills project video link. Let's see, get in there closer. And then you can read this month's issue of Jake Wilde's uh, Chronicles online. So they're not printing those and sending them either. Um, 
which is interesting. Trying to save a little bit of money, that's all right with me. Um, I think that that was a waste of paper anyway because I don't know about you, but I really wasn't keeping any of that stuff. Okay, so here we go. Love this. This is my overview. I love the tomahawk. That's very cool. Um, if it had the right handle, you could even throw with it, I think. Uh, it's pretty heavy to the back, so maybe not, but this is something I'll definitely use. The sickle comes with this cute little case that won't last very long. I'm sure it'll break pretty soon, but um, I'll use it in a secondary uh, wheelbarrow or basket. Orange screw thing, I'm always going through these. I take them with me everywhere, so definitely use it. Rechargeable lantern, love it. Synthetic um, firearms oil, we'll try it um, after we do a little research on it and see if it's going to ruin our weapons or not. Lighter mini holder, like it, wish that it held a full-size lighter, but again, you know, check out um, non-BIC. They recommend BIC products, I don't know why, but there are non-BIC products made in France, and uh, maybe that would work better for you. Life straw, been wanting to buy one, so I'm happy about that. Bushcraft gathering is across the country from me, so I won't be going to that, and I already taped this on my DVR. Okay, happy, happy, happy with this box. We went through a stage several months ago when I was getting crappy boxes. I wasn't happy. I was thinking about canceling. Then three boxes ago got better. Last month's got even better. This one, I think, may be the best box I've had yet. Anyway, let me know what you guys think below. What's your favorite tool? And um, when you get your box, maybe you'd like to throw up a video, too, or at least maybe review an item. How about that? Review an item that's in here that you that's your favorite item or one that's unusual that you really want to try and let me know how it goes. Again, I'm especially interested in information on this, um, the synthetic firearms oil. Um, it's a small little bit, but you know, for a, like a bug out bag, um, or a get home bag, let's say, three days or something, that would, that would be a nice little thing to carry in there. So anyway, thanks you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.